Two of the most common music editing problems we have is when music is too short or too long for our project, but we also want to retain the natural start and end of our music choice. Well, this is a job for Crossfade. Crossfade allows us to place two pieces of music on the same track within PTE AV Studio. Then we can slide the start of the second piece over the top of the end of the first piece and we automatically get a fade in and fade out of both pieces of music. Let me put my cursor at that point. Let's listen to what we've got here with that one simple move. Well, that worked pretty well, I think. Now I've used Control and F12 to reduce the length of the timeline so we can see the start and the end. And I've dragged down a completely different piece of music. Now this is massively too long. And I want to use the start, but also the end. So what I'm gonna do here is click at the end of this WAV file. I'm gonna drag it back to a little bit around there. Then I need to get another version of this. I'm going to drag it down but this time just place it in a separate track just for a moment because I need to concentrate on the end. I can't move it more to the left so I've got to pick up the front, make it smaller so I can slide it along and I'd want to line up nicely with the end of my slideshow. Let's have a quick listen to that. Now that's what we're trying to achieve. So now I would be dragging the front of this back to somewhere around there. Maybe I would be making the WAV file a bit longer, so Control F11 will do that. Let's see if I can drag this back a little more. I'm going to take that back to that little dip there. This bit back to this little dip there. Then I'm going to drag them up. Have a look. Difficult to tell with this one, so we're going to have to give it a whirl. And by a whirl, I mean play it and listen. Now I think that was a pretty good example of how well Crossfade works, but we can help it along if it doesn't work as well as we'd like. We can increase and decrease the overlap, of course, and that's one way. We can work a little bit harder at lining up the WAV files a little more accurately because we can see through both of them there, so we can get a little more accurate there. We can also adjust the music manually. We can bring down the volume controls on either one side or the other side of the crossfade. So there's lots of different ways we can help this along. With this example, I have dragged down two different pieces of music with different authors. So the style of the music is bound to be different. I've got the front lined up nicely with the image that I like and I've got the second piece of music lined up nicely with my blank at the end. So I've only got the crossfade to worry about but it may be a good idea to lose that bit and take advantage perhaps of that little gap, maybe. So I need to drag this up and see if I can line it. We can line it up just at that point there. This, of course, is a little bit of trial and error. And don't forget, you can always make the timeline even wider than it is here. But as always, we have to put our cursor there, watch and listen.
Now I think with a little bit of movement here, we could improve on that. But even so, it'll probably pass muster for most people. Now off camera, I've adjusted the crossfade and shortened it just a little bit, and it sounds much better. There are other ways to join two separate pieces of music, but perhaps they are for another video. Thanks for watching.